COVID has obviously affected every aspect of life, including uh, the way we do education. And there are a lot of people interested in studying the effects of COVID on, on learners. We're especially interested in the effects of COVID on younger learners who are often not included in conventional assessment systems. And in particular, we're interested in the effect of COVID on reading, which is an especially central part of the curriculum. But in our data, we have evidence that kids have done a pretty good job this year learning to read, especially in comparison to last spring. And this suggests that uh, you know, educators have acted nimbly to uh, on the fly, come up with new ways of teaching this critical skill to kids that they can't actually interact with in person for the most part. It was on par with the kind of growth we've observed in years past, but it in and of itself would not be sufficient to make up for the ground loss last spring. Kids are behind where they should be. The gaps that we've observed here, if not ameliorated, could potentially mutate into gaps in other skills given the centrality of reading uh, as a kind of cornerstone skill upon which other things build. We're observing disparities in reading that didn't used to be there. In particular, we're seeing that kids in lower achieving school districts are learning uh, how to read at a slower rate than in years past. They're learning at a slower rate than their peers in higher achieving districts. And this was not true in the past. So that's one area of concern. The second area of concern is just that we're still not observing some kids. They are potentially the students that are most affected by the pandemic. And you know we're, we're quite concerned about them. And we would love to both figure out ways to get them, you know, kind of back into the, the, the system in the context of our data observations, but also get them the resources they need to learn. COVID has exacerbated you know, pre-existing disparities and, and introduced new ones. We think this is something that policymakers should attend to. In particular, they should think about trying to get resources to those places uh, that have not been showing the same level of growth. And those resources, you know, could be both you know, financial and also, you know, the tools and techniques that are being used in other places. We're going to need to monitor uh, the gaps in skills that have been introduced by COVID, uh, specifically in reading, but I think in other, in other subject areas as well. And so even though COVID maybe is hopefully coming to an end as the, the you know, central defining feature of all of our lives, that doesn't mean it won't be a crucial thing that we need to uh, keep in mind as we move forward in terms of understanding what happens next after the pandemic. I think it's going to continue to shape the, the lives of these, these kids and we should be cognizant of that.